Hey guys. Hi guys. Alright, so it's March. We got boxes coming in. The first one up is Super Geek Box. I guess the new and improved Super Geek Box. Now, if you weren't aware, uh, Super Geek Box apparently has decided that it's time to upgrade, which we actually tend to agree with them. Yes, this is a getting a little stale. Um, you know, some of the stuff was sort of repeated, and mm -hmm. uh, they've changed everything to the point where even the design of the box it's bigger. I know in last box they were talking about how this would be just a different box. I think they were actually charging a little more now too. I think you're right. If I'm not mistaken. So uh, let's see the new and improved Super Geek box. By the way, sorry if you can hear the rain. It's like yeah, storming, storming really bad right now. <laughs> well, let's see what we got. Oh, nice. You can see inside the box here. Looks like we're getting some Ninja Turtles. Got a t-shirt in there. Mine's the exact same look. Same thing, okay. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Stop it, hold that up. Oh my God, is yours metallic? No, it's yours. Yes. What the? Oh, that's sweet. Ours are different. They're different. You got a Deadpool one. What is that? Deadpool holding Red, Red Ranger, Ranger helmet. Oh, Mine's holding green. He's wearing the green outfit. So it's like a variant like t-shirt. That is, what does it even say? I didn't even read it. Mighty Mercenary Power Rager. <laughs> oh. I mean, you got to admit that Super Geek Box's t-shirts are usually pretty good. Yeah, they have some good mashups. This one, though. One of my favorites. This is one of the best. Deadpool and I Power Rangers. I like yours better, though. Oh, yeah. It's got it's a metallic shiny. green. That's awesome. The new upgrade so far so good, I would say. All right. Ooh, okay. Ooh, I got the yellow ranger. I got the red ranger dorbs. This was at, we want these actually. Yes, we do. We just picked up Rita from Toys R Us. It's a Toys R Us exclusive. So if you guys are looking for dorbs, Power Rangers, make sure you go to Toys R Us and get That's your Rita. Right. Trini was always my favorite. I know a lot of girls favored Kimberly, but Trini was the best. I'll tell you one thing about these dorbs. These are actually done very well. If you're a Power Rangers fan, they they're good you know because they look a lot like them they do i mean look at the teeth on her helmet they're just mm -hmm. kind of raised up off of yeah. there they're all sculpted in mm -hmm. like they're even very, even very the t-rex's nice. teeth on red ranger's helmet oh yeah they are and the belt and you got the power blast and everything it's mm -hmm. really good the dwarves are good so if you guys aren't fans of dwarves but you are mighty more from power rangers fans more than likely you're probably gonna like these dwarves let's go with the turtles box. Oh, yeah what is this it says plush ball oh, plush series. ball series i hope i got done tell whatever this is well, hope i have my ear off i got wrapped did you? Yeah, who'd you get? That's who I got. Donnie? Mikey! Mikey. Yeah. I'll never get Donnie. Donnie, this is for, these are from the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I was hoping I'd squeeze them and they would say something, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The thing about the, the Nickelodeon ones that I'm not a super fan of, like the new design sort of for kids, is that huge gap in Donatello's teeth. Yeah, I don't really like that either. I've never been a fan of that. Weird. And I love how Mikey has his freckles. Yeah, yeah. Very, very cute. A nice little box that came in and everything. So there's still more in this box. Okay, let's go for the mystery Pint pack. size heroes. Okay, so this is another thing we've been wanting to get. Actually, I think I ordered a box of these, but Ooh. we haven't got it yet. <laughs> Black Ranger. <laughs> the yellow Ranger. <laughs> Seems to be a theme with my box. Well, those are pretty neat. These are very nice. She looks exactly like her door. Yeah, they're, look at that. they are really close to a door. <laughs> She's almost identical. So these guys are from Funko as well. If you guys are fans of Funko, you know Funko. They do pops. They do these dwarves. Right. And they also do pint-sized heroes. These are the tiny sort of solution to dwarves for, like, kids. That's why I always assume. Not that kids are always ones collect, but, mm -hmm. you know, those miniature things are so popular today. I imagine these being in, like, those 50-cent machines when we were kids that had the little plastic snaps. You turn it, and they come rolling Ours out. Ours are always really crappy, But though. they were, uh, yeah, I was going to say, they were a lot cheaper than this. The only thing I ever collected in those 50-cent machines were the football helmets, the NFL helmets. Oh, yeah. I I was all about those. I had so many of them, but it was so hard to get a Colts one. I could never find a Colts one until one day this kid was like, hey, I got some Colts one if you want to trade it. And I was like, cool, which team do you want? And he was like, I don't want teams. I was like, what do you want? And he was like, I want a Dr. Pepper. I was like, score, man. <laughs> a Dr. Pepper for a Colts helmet. I'll take it. But uh, yeah, those are cool. I like this. Alrighty, so we have the pin. That's my two. That's so it nice. just says, what is it? Unite? Unite. So that's interesting. I would have never expected Power Rangers and Deadpool as a connection of Unite. Oh, uh, never. I don't think Deadpool can really unite with anyone. Saying, but... <laughs> His body, I guess. Yeah. That, that's a cool connection, though. And we're not done, actually. No, we're not. It looks like we have an art print here. I don't know if they're the same. I got Mikey. Who'd you get? I got Raphael. Okay, so these are, let's see here, Super Geek Box, and then we got like a little logo here. Yeah, it says Ninja Shadows Nerd on the crate, back. Great Ninja Shadow wall art set made in USA. Set? So do you have all four? I think you do might have all four. Do we have all four? four. That'd be kind of crazy if they did all I four. Think, yeah. They did do all four. How cool. Now that is neat. I love Mikey with his pizza. Very cool. 
These are very, very nice. Wow. That okay. color looks more pinkish than purple. Well, in a lot of times, um, some of the older versions, Donatello's purple is very, very pink. Really? I yeah. never knew that. Mm -hmm. Nice job, wow. Super Geek. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice on the back of the plush it says their names on their oh, head. Yeah. That's kind of I noticed neat. that, but Stitched I guess in. I didn't really pay much attention. Yeah, awesome. Okay, yeah. So I think Super Geek Box definitely deserves credit. Yes, they do. This is so much better. They have 100% upgraded their box. Mm -hmm. It was getting very stagnant. A lot of it was either like uh, Zelda, a lot or, of Zelda or something like that. It was getting kind of stagnant. It was just a t-shirt mm -hmm. and something else. And a lot of plushies. Granted, they were a very cheap box, which is good because you do need that cheap box that's right. inexpensive for people to kind of get into them because not everyone wants to spend, you know, $30 or whatever you're doing for a box. I can't wait to see what they're going to do in the future. This is really great quality products and yeah. I'm in love with this. I like the yeah. plushie and the dorbs what, and the shirt. What was your favorite item in the box though? I'm gonna have to go with the shirt. I think that the mashup is just epic. I really like this. Yeah, there's no, I mean, I like everything and everything yes. in here I'm gonna collect because I'm a huge Ninja Turtles, obviously Power Rangers right. fan. So there's no going wrong as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> but no, the shirt's the shirt's great. The I mean, especially since I was lucky enough to get the metallic sort of. I know, it must be the rare version. Yeah, definitely. Well, speaking of that, let's read their little article magazine here and uh, see what it says. In this pamphlet, there's actually something that says a special thank you. And I think some of it deserves to be read. It says, it has been a rough year for us and we're sure it has been a rough year for everybody. Many have no idea of the amount of the dangers and struggles that the founders go through in order to build a business. We here at Super Geek Box are no exception to such reality for we have had to endure a series of attack and scrutiny since our inception. At the end of the day, we all learn that peace and resolution are still the greatest victories. Please make no mistake that we are some behemoth company that has made it to any point of major success. We're just two millennials who strive to create awesome boxes for this community with occasional help from friends and family. Um, I'll keep the picture up so you guys can read the rest of it. I like that. It's personal. I like that too. I'm glad that they're kind of saying, hey, look guys, we're really trying. We're not some rich millionaire who doesn't care. We really do care about the community. Yeah, we're kind of a, a young box. We're young people. We're, mm -hmm. you know, trying to get our foot, trying to get our bearing. Right. And this is a good step. It's, it's always good to be able to look at yourself and say, okay, I need improvement here. I need improvement there. Same thing with your company. That's right. how you become successful. If you can't take constructive criticism and take what you're being told and run with that and fix it, then you're never going to succeed. And it seems like they've really taken that criticism and they're like, okay, look, let's let's address the issues and yeah. fix it. And I think they did a great job. So let's get back into the magazine here and see what we got. So number one, the Funko Doors Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Of course, you can get any five of these. Nice. If you guys are into collecting these, they also have glow-in-the-dark and metallic versions of these that you guys should be on the lookout for. The Red Ranger and the Yellow Ranger actually have chases. Chases are one in six chance that whenever they come out of the box that you'll get a metallic version of that. So check basically any store. You might have mm -hmm. the option of finding one of those in a store. It'll have a chase sticker on it. It says chase. And I believe the Blue Ranger and I don't know. I'll put a picture up, but there's two glow-in-the-dark versions. I think the Pink Ranger. No, the Red Ranger. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's the Red Ranger. <laughs> But there are two glow-in-the-dark versions that are Walmart exclusives. I uh, you're, you're probably right, yeah. but we'll figure it out. Yeah. I love chases. They're some of my favorite things to collect. They're just so daggone hard to get. It actually says in here there is a uh, special variant available. So oh. they might be handing out ch uh, chases throughout these boxes. Man, if you so. got one, you guys are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Number two, the Funko Pint Size Heroes Classic Power Rangers. These are really cool. I kind of like Pint Size Heroes in a I way. Too. If you like the brand or you like whatever series it is, it's kind of cool to collect all those because they're so small. Right. They don't take up a lot of space. Exactly. That's what I was going to say. They're the perfect size. Yeah. And actually, I'm pretty sure I ordered a box of those. So they should be coming in. So we're going to have a couple of duplicates. The bad thing about those, though, they have exclusive boxes. Like GameStop has an exclusive box that has Zordon in it. Like, that sucks. That's I hate when they awful. do that. Not a good idea. I mean, a good idea for Funko because they're going to make money, I guess. But not a good idea for their collector. Number three, the Nickelodeon TMNT head plushes. Those were pretty cool. Of course, we got Raph and Mikey. Number four, the Nerd Crate Super Geek Box exclusive Ninja Shadows wall art. I remember, I don't know what box it was, but it was a while ago where we got little stickers of something like that. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I can't remember what that was, but I know what you're talking I'm about. I'm pretty shocked that they actually gave us like an eight. Well, I don't know if it's an eight by ten. Maybe a five no, no, by seven. No, no, this is like a five by seven Yeah, maybe size. a five by seven. Um, all four of them. That's there's something to be said about that too. There's right, and this is on that. nice thick cardstock mm -hmm. paper. Of course, we get the uh, pin. Now there's a metallic variant. I didn't look at it close enough to see if we have a metallic variant. I do pin. not have one. I think I just have regular orange. I guess we would have known. So uh, if you got this box, there's a chance of that being metallic. And then finally, number five, the Super Geek Box exclusive Mighty Mercenary T special variant available. I was lucky enough to get that. The Green Ranger Deadpool. And of course, you got the Red Ranger. I had the Red Ranger. Yours looks like it glows in the dark on the pamphlet, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, but it probably doesn't. It's probably just saying, hey, I'm sure check it does. It's like, green. hey, green. you got something shiny. special. Yeah. 
Alrighty, well, I mean, I really don't have anything else to say, guys. Um, Super Geek Box, if you're watching the video, very good job. I yes. think this is a step in the right direction. If this looks like a box you guys would be interested in, we'll put a link down below along with some information. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.